Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Annika and today I'm going to do a What's in my Back to School Bag 2020. I am going into year 11 this year, so it's the final year of secondary school and I'm so excited just to be like done with school. But I'm so excited to get back into school as well, which is a weird combination, but you know. We've had so much time outside of school, like in quarantine on my own. I just want to get back in with people, you know, just the experience with the teacher. Like, it's just, I know some schools are doing totally online. I think here in England, everyone has to go into school for certain points. I have no idea, but yeah. And I think some schools are doing a hybrid, where you go in to school half the days and then half the days you do online and then the other half of the year alternate. I know some, some schools are doing it like that. But my school is in full time. So this is what's in my school bag. So first, this is my school bag. It's a can, -can bag. I got it last year. I had this bag throughout year 10 as well. And I just didn't think there was a point of buying a new bag. If we go back into quarantine, there's no point. It's quite an expensive bag. I had a different hanging for year nine. I had like a green and pink one. But yeah, so I'm going to keep this bag through to year 11. So then in the pocket on the side, I have my water bottle. It's the Love Island water bottle. It just says Annika on it, my name. And yeah, I love this water bottle. So then we are going to go on to this little pocket down here. So first I have a packet of tissues. This is such a random place to start. Tissues are always so important at school. I get cold so often I have a cold right now. So yeah, that's important. Then I have my apple pencil and a spare apple pencil. Just in case my first one dies, I have two of them. I use my iPad in school rather than paper. With my dyslexia, I find it helps better to do it di digitally. Yeah, I have them. Then I have my earphones. My earphones are the ones for the old iPhones, but I have the adapter because Sometimes I need to listen to like podcasts or audiobooks to do with the work at school so I need to plug it into my phone but sometimes we need to plug things into the school computer so that's why I take the old ones to school with me. It's still like the new uh, buds but just the old connection. And then I have this little thing. It is the connector for your Apple Pencil to charge your Apple Pencil in case I forget to charge both of them and they both die, which is very unlikely, but a possibility. Then I have a phone charger slash a charger for my iPad. I never want to go dead. I keep dropping things. I always charge my iPad at night, but sometimes on a really busy school day, it will get really low towards the end of the day and I'll be scared that it'll die. So I always have a charger with me and I can just charge my phone as well in case I forgot to charge it during the night or you know anything like that. That is everything inside this pocket and now we're going to go on to the main pocket. This bag only has two pockets which is all that I need in reality so it's perfect size for me. I find this bag has so much room in it. The first thing when you open my bag is my pencil case. I don't need that much. Before when I used to write on paper, my pencil case used to be absolutely full. I still have like my year eight pencil case in my drawer, still full of all my equipment in there. And I used to take so much. Like as I used to have a Zoella beauty bag as my pencil case and it used to be full. But now I just have this, this is my exam case as well. So I just have a few highlighters, calculator, glue stick, some normal biros, some pencils, some fine liners just in case we need to make posters. Sometimes they make us make posters in class. And then I have just some colored tip, um, gel pens just in case I need it. Then I have my lunch box. I have this bento box. I got it on Amazon. I think it was like £20. It's just like this. And when you open it up, this one I found was the best one that I could find. It's making a bit of a rattling noise because I haven't properly clicked it in. But it brought some chopsticks, a plastic spoon, 
and a metal fork and spoon and then there's two compartments in there for all your food got like a bamboo lid then the next thing in my bag my bag is really dirty i was going to clean it but then i decided not to because it's going to get dirty immediately again because i had this bag last year sometimes my food or a drink would explode in my bag or i just have like a food tech project which just weren't then I have this bag. This is just my girly necessities. I have lots of stuff in this bag. It's literally jam-packed. Not just my girly necessities. This is necessities in general. So even a boy can have some of this stuff. So first I have a spare mask. Because of coronavirus and everything, I don't know what will happen if my mask gets wet or anything. I need a spare mask. So this is just my spare mask. I bought it on Amazon when coronavirus first started. Then I have my asthma pump, that is a necessity for me. Then I have deodorant, this is for, I forget to put it on in the morning, which rarely happens, but sometimes it does. And also after PE, sometimes you need some deodorant. Can't lie to you. Then I've just got this Ted Baker body spray, it's just a little one. I had this in my bag last year, it hasn't even gone down halfway. Then I have some cream slash lotion, this is just the Ted Baker one. Again, I got it for Christmas a few years ago. Haven't used it, but I love the smell. I've used the face cream one, and the face cream is so good. So I decided to use this cream this year at school. Then I have a Carmex. I was gonna get other lip balm, another lip balm, but I left it in Spain. I was gonna use, I was gonna take my Glossier Cherry Balm lip balm, but I left it in Spain, so it's Carmex instead. I have other Glossier ones, but I just wanted the cherry one. I don't really want to take like the birthday cake one or anything, because sometimes they make me feel sick, and if I'm at school and I already feel sick, I don't want something sweet. So I just took the Carmex. Then I have a few hair ties, hair bubbles, hair bands, whatever you want to call them. This is like in case one snaps or I forget one or I do a style during the in the morning but then I'm like I'm really not feeling this and I just want to tie this, tie my hair up. I feel like my hood is covering my whole face but I just feel cosy. It's September already and I just feel cosy. I had the fire on yesterday. Like I'm just in the fall spirit already. Then I have hand sanitizer. This is so important and this time with coronavirus and everything I'll be sanitizing my hands after I leave and enter every single classroom. I have some painkillers because I get really bad period cramps. I also get really bad headaches sometimes but if it's for my headache I will always notify my help teacher to tell them that I'm taking a painkiller I won't just take it without notifying the teacher unless it's for period cramps then I will take it and then I just have some of these because it's every girl's necessity to have with them in school then in the last pocket of my school bag in here this is where I take all my books and everything so I have my iPad, I have the iPad generation 7 in gold, rose gold, I can't remember, I think it was just called gold, but it looks more rose gold to me. I made my wallpaper and I was really really proud of it, and my case is from Amazon. Then I have my folders, I have two folders in here at the moment, I have my English folder, and this is just my folder with work from all subjects that I need to sort through and old worksheets. So this folder I need to sort through, but I've got so many folders. I've got a folder for every single one of my subjects. And I've also got an overflow folder. I'll always have a spare folder with me in school, which was this one last year. And these notes are still valid this year. So that's why this one's in my school bag. Also on the first day, I don't need all of my folders as of yet. I will be checking what lessons I have and what folders I need to bring, but I don't need all of them in my bag just yet. Then I have a few more bits that would normally be in my school bag for back to school, but they're not in there at the moment. So the reason for this is I don't have them at the moment. So I was in Spain this summer and obviously coming back, the government qu put quarantine back on. So I haven't been able to go out and buy the last few bits that I need for school. It's not much. So I've got a list on my iPad, which I wrote down. It was my checklist for everything I needed for school. Put in my school bag and there's just a few stuff which I still need to buy. I come out of quarantine in two days, which is super exciting. And then on Saturday, so 
be first Wednesday right now and I start school next Monday. I come out of quarantine on Friday, so on Saturday I'm going into London with one of my friends. It's her birthday. We're gonna go for a celebration, or like a dinner celebration, but we're also going during the day. So we're gonna pop into a couple of shops just to do some last minute back to school bits. Some of the things that I have to still get, which will be in my school bag for back to school, is I need to get a spare notebook. Because I don't write on paper, sometimes we need paper in school for whatever reason. Sometimes the teacher wants it to be handed in there and then, and if so, I will need to do it on paper. And I prefer to have my own notebook because I'm very particular with my writing style and how I work. So I'm going to get a spare notebook just so I have some spare paper just in case. Then I have some gum. We're not allowed to chew gum in school school and I never really chew gum in school anyway but when I'm walking home from school sometimes I'm a little bit peckish so I just have like a little piece of gum. I always listen to a podcast or an audiobook or music on the way back from school and it's always nice to be like chewing some gum at the same time just put you in the spirit because I walk home alone from school there's no one that comes home the same way as I do which is a little bit annoying but what can you do it's my time to like chill out and just listen to something good that I want to listen to. Then I have sanitizer wipes. I need to buy sanitizer wipes. I know schools are gonna have stuff, I'm pretty sure, but I just feel more comfortable if I sanitize my own area when I come into school. Also, if I'm borrowing pens or stuff, I want to sanitize them for myself, but also to be respectful to the other person that I've borrowed from to sanitize what I'm giving back to them. Even if they don't care, I think it's just still respectful and in this time you can never be too safe. So sanitizer wipes is something that I'm definitely going to be purchasing for back to school. Then I just need to get some band-aids or plasters. I don't know why I call them band-aids, I'm not American, but it's always good to have some. You can get like a paper cut or like you graze yourself. Now with coronavirus as well, I feel more comfortable having them myself than going to the medical to get them. And usually in the medical, they don't usually give them to you. I mean, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, depending on who's in medical. So it's always just safer to have some for yourself, also for your friends if they ever need some. Then I am going to get a nail file. I have have one. It's really worn down so I just want to get a new one and so I can just have it in my bag. Sometimes my nail chips and I just sit there trying to pick it so it gets even and it's just so much easier to have a nail file. I used to have a mini pack but I think someone stole it. It went missing once. I don't know why I steal a nail file. That's kind of disgusting. It went missing at school so. Then I have cough drops. That's the last thing on my list. That's a really random note to end on but as I said I get cold so frequently and it's always worth me having cough drops with me in school i always have them because if i ever get a sore throat or i've got tonsillitis four or five times in the past like three years so i don't want to be in pain in class and i already have several other health issues so i don't want to add something on so having cough drops just soothes that whole <laughs> so yeah I need to buy some cough drops. That's a really strange note to end on. But that is everything in my back to school bag. If you have any more suggestions or you take anything to school with you that you think will be helpful, leave it in the comments down below and I will be sure to add it to my list of stuff to take in my school bag. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give a big thumbs up, subscribe down below and make sure to hit that notification bell because at this moment I don't have an uploading schedule. I hope to be creating a schedule but as of yet I don't have one when I work one out I will let you know but until then click the notification bell so you're notified when I up leave me a comment with any video suggestions or as I said more stuff that I can take with me to school like stuff that you use any ideas and any feedback so yeah I hope you enjoyed thank you for watching <laughs> bye <laughs>